Hi, this is Drema, and we're here at the Le Vieux Cavant. We've been out today uh, running around a little bit, even though it's been damp, and taking some pictures. And I want to share with you just a little bit about the watercolor stuff that we worked on today. Um, this is a little kit that I'm working from, and it's a little Cotman kit, a filled box. It has, I've got some water in here. This little guy holds water in the bottle here if we need it. And I've got my water pen and then my um, waterproof marker that I'm using. This is a Micron Pigma pen. Uh, the nice thing about it is when you use it and put it down, the marks don't bleed. I've already kind of sketched out, and if we want to swing the camera around here and see the little view that I've got down through here that I'm painting from, is the gate going out uh, of the Le Vieux Cavant onto the little street there. And so I've just kind of put in lightly a pencil sketch here, not really pencil, but using my Pigma pen. And if you want to focus in on that, you can see how lightly I've put it in. It's just a very small sketch. And uh, once I've got it in, then I just go ahead and start. I've got my paper towels here. Can you see that okay? I've got Ron helping me film here a little bit. But I just go ahead and start wetting areas that I know I'm going to put general color into so that I get some soft edges to start with and dip into some of my colors here. Watercolors are so fun because they're just so, on something like this, they just allow for some spontaneous kind of happy accidents happening when you're painting. Uh, let me go ahead and put a little bit of the sap green, and we've got a good color here called turquoise in this to just kind of start laying in some of the greens. Just a little bit to start wigging. You can see it already kind of starts to take shape. I don't try to necessarily stay within the lines of what I'm doing. Just kind of start dopping it in there a little bit. And the same thing like on the, the doors here, which are really beautiful Caribbean turquoise blue, which you all know I love. I'm going to go ahead and wet my paper a little bit with my brush. It's pretty wet. And then go ahead and grab this gorgeous Caribbean blue color. I can move it right over here by the palette where you can see it. And just start dropping it in. And it is live action, so we've got the Camp de Phone ringing here a little bit. And when you've got your color on there, go ahead and drop in like some of your sap green or grab a little bit of your uh, cobalt or ultramarine blue, what color, whatever other blue that you have in your kit, and drop it into the water because you get some nice mixing things happening. And the same thing, you can put just a little bit of your purple in there. And so you get some of those nice things happening on your thing. And we're just kind of off to doing our first little watercolor here, or actually second one here at the Combat. Anyway, that's it for today, and so we'll be trying to capture some more things tomorrow so you can kind of feel like you're along for the ride in France with us, and I will be posting a photograph of this so you can put it in your journal, too. Thank you, and bonjour.